Hi, I'm David Orr, and this is Simple Security Tips for Your System. Now, any good start to securing your system is having a password. So I'm using Windows 7. Go to Start, Control Panel, and User Accounts and Family Safety. Now here you can add and remove accounts or give administrative privileges, which if you are the administrator of the system, then you have full authority to make changes on the computer, give different downloads permission to put that software on your system. Uh, I'm the only account on here, so I have an administrative account. What I should actually do, though, is add another account that's non-administrated. That way, if uh, a virus called Adware, or Adware tries to uh, take over my computer to download programs on my computer without my permission, if I'm not on the account that has the administrative authority, then it makes it a lot harder to put things on here that I do not want. So, as for the password, go here, change the password, and then put in your new password, confirm it, and now for a password hint, it should be something that's not easily guessed, like, what is your dog's name? If you're a friend of the family or, you know, the person, you already hacked them, you can go through your Facebook, find out that their dog's name is Spot, type that in, and you have that access. And also, a good password should be, Windows Standards is about 8 characters long, and it should have at least a capital letter and a special character, such as number a special there. Adding a space is also a special character that would greatly improve your defenses. A lot of websites and logins have you believe that you can't have a space. Some sites won't let you, but that's a good practice there. So anytime you see these shields, it means you have to have that administrated authority to manage another account or make the changes to the system. Now, the next step is having an antivirus. Antiviruses are your second line of defense besides your password, and what these do is they help prevent intruders from getting in your system, and they also get them out. Now, there is no one-size-fits-all for antiviruses. Avas is a wonderful free antivirus that does a lot to protect your system. It's really easy to use. Uh, something you want to do for your antivirus is update it every day because people who make viruses typically have a new one out every day. So you don't want to fall back on this. And whenever installing new software, something you want to do is check for the digital certificate. Right here, we got verified publisher of AS software. Uh, a dot s so information about publisher certificate right here issued by digicert details the certificate is okay because there are some sites that will offer you the same downloads but they don't have the verification so you may get legit software from them or you may get legit software but with something a little additional in there that hackers want you to have to gain access to your system. Now, something else is your firewall. Your firewall is like a net that filters out the things you don't want and allows the things you do want to pass. To check your firewall, we're going to go to Start, go to Control Panel, as we did before for user accounts, go to System and Security. Right there is your firewall. We're going to check that and make sure it's on. So right now, everything looks good. It's connected and my firewall is protecting me. Now uh, we can turn it on or off here, but you always want to have your firewall on. Now a firewall is not an antivirus, so you need both of them and you want them both on at all times. Now, next in our list is secured websites. Now there are websites that will have HTTP 
or HTTPS, like right here on Facebook. And what this means is that S is secured. And you'll see a little lock here. So it's verified by the G Cert Inc. just as a vastless. So this is protecting me if I do any transactions on here. Uh, this will protect me from people trying to intrude in. Now, social engineering is a way, kind of like people hacking. Yeah, intruders will get a person to give away their info. And right here, if you get on someone's Facebook, you can see where they've worked, their birth date, and that can be used to impose as that person or guess some of their information as to um, you know any of their security questions or going through their photos you can also see uh, different things like there's a, a Batman shirt up there so this guy could be really into Batman so that could be a big clue as to what his password could be you know the activities this guy's into so he likes Batman so it could be the Dark Knight or Batman something relevant to that now uh, you also want to do your Windows updates every day. Usually if you see this little flag down here and click on it, uh, this will let you know about any necessities like right here, virus protection. Uh, let's say that a vast report set is turned off. So I can click turn that on now and Windows update, important. You always want to keep this up to date. Uh, users who are using Windows XP should upgrade to something better than that because there's no more security patches that's going to be made for Windows XP. It can be still used, but there won't be any new updates to protect you from the newer viruses that are coming to play here. So that's all I have for you now. Thank you for watching, and go ahead and utilize these to keep your system.